Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 109 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you a vignette tip and also a little bonus tip on using the DHA slider. Before I do that, let me say that I'm very proud to say that all my videos are free. And I'm very, very happy to say they're free because many people help me. They help me make these great free photography how-to videos. If you could help me, I'd be really grateful. All you got to do to get more information is to look at this video and in the top right hand corner you'll see an eye. If you click on that eye, you get more info on how you could help me out. All right, vignette. Why do you want to add a vignette? Well, typically you want to add a vignette to an image because it helps draw the viewer's attention more towards the middle of the image. And it's a very subtle way to get the viewer to look where you want them to look. And to add a vignette in Lightroom, you go to the Effects tab when you're in the Develop module. And as you probably know, this amount slider, if you move it to the right, you're going to add a light or white vignette. And if you move it to the left, you're going to add a darker or black vignette. What this tip consists of is the other slider. So we're going to move this amount slider. I typically like to add darker vignettes. And I'll move it to the left so I get a darker vignette. Now, the tip consists, or the tip has to do with the other four sliders. And I got to say real quick, it doesn't matter what style vignette you use, highlight, priority, color, or paint. It really doesn't matter. I typically just use highlight priority. The difference between all these three different styles is very subtle. And I probably couldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the three. So I just leave it on highlight priority. Now, what the tip is, is once you set the amount slider, if you hold the Alt or Option key and Alt if you have a Mac, or Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac, and you click down on any of the other four sliders, in this case midpoint, you'll see it maxes out the amount slider. So it gives you kind of a better idea of what you're affecting when you move, the, in this case, the midpoint slider. Similarly, if you hold that Alt or Option key in and move the roundness, you'll see that it maxes it out so you could see the roundness a little better and feathering exactly the same thing and the highlights exactly the same thing. Now that helps you no matter if you're using the darker vignette or the light vignette. So let's reset these by double clicking on where it says post crop vignetting. Just double click there and that will reset everything. And we're going to move let's say the amount to the right. Now we're going to get a light vignette. I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key in, and you can see that it just maxes it out white. So it just gives you a better idea of what you're doing. Now unfortunately this Alt Option key trick doesn't do anything for grain. You're on your own with grain. But it does help you with dehaze. Now I'm going to go to this image and you may remember a few episodes ago I had an episode where I talked about shooting through glass. And in this case this was at a zoo and there was a skylight and a window and the light was kind of raking across the front of the glass and it made it re look really milky and lost a lot of contrast. And I showed in that video that you could use the dehaze slider to get rid of this haze. Well, if you hold the Alt or Option key in when you click use this dehaze slider, okay, in this case I'll hold it in, you'll see the screen turns white. When I move the dehaze slider to the right, you'll see that eventually, now I'll just max it out so you could see, you'll see that it kind of shows these colors. Basically it's showing clipping and you have three channels, red, green, and blue. And if you see green, that means your green channel is clipping and similarly for blue and red, if one of the, you see one of those colors, that means that channel is clipping. If you see black, that means all three channels are clipping. If you see like uh, an off color like a cyan or magenta that means two of the three are clipping what good does that do you or why do you need to know this well if you clip one channel let's say and you're not clipping the other two channels you'll get a color shift now in this case it doesn't matter much it's not not a lot is clipping even even though it you know it's kind of all over the place it's minimal amount but in some images, you might get a lot where you're going to, let's say, have green clipping. And you're going to get a lot of green uh, when you do this little trick by holding this Alt or Option key in. So that means green is clipping, 
The other two are not clipping. That means red and blue are not clipping. And you could get a color shift or blue, you know, blue could be clipping and then you'll have red and green aren't clipping. And you know what I'm saying. So you could get a color shift. And this is a way for you to avoid a color shift. You don't want to move that dehay slider too far to the right where you start getting a lot of clipping. So you'd like to back it off. So that's where this holding in this alter option key helps. So that's that little kind of bonus tip on using the dehay slider. So I hope that helps you guys out. I hope that taught you something you didn't know and it helps you better or more effectively add a vignette to your image. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys soon.